Hello, Smai is here. And today I would like to talk uh, about transformation. We all seeking healing experiences to change something in our lives. And change is a process of transformation. Change doesn't happen overnight. And I'm pretty sure you experienced that, that you would get a new book or watch a new video or sign up for a course. You practice something. You're like, oh my God, it's amazing. And then in a couple of weeks, it's kind of gone and you continue doing what you've been doing. Right? I have um, coaching clients that come into me, then disappear for a month, then come back and disappear again. Right? So what is the secret ingredient when it comes to transformation? What actually is the key that will make us stick to the practice or stick to the tool and then actually get from point A to point B and create the desire to change in our life? And from personal and professional experience is your why knowing why do you need it right now? Having that burning why, why the hell I need this? Because energy follows our attention. If our attention is sharp, we're going to have resources, right? We're going to have time. We're going to have our willpower. I personally love the saying, where is the will? There is the way. And if a person desires something, there is no power in the world that can prevent you from getting it. Absolutely no power in the world. If you're clear about your desire and your body responds to that, you'll get there. You might not get there tomorrow. You might not even get there maybe in six months, but you will get there. Right? It's important to understand that we are creatures of habit. And what is the best way to break a habit? It's not about stopping doing that. It's not about going through that torturing sensation of, I want to do this, I crave this. It's actually about creating a new habit. And we motivate it to stick to a new habit only when we know why. And our attention is sharp. And I can give you many examples from um, my life. I came to New York um, almost, I think, 13 years ago. And I had no connections. I barely speak English. I never worked in the United States. I had uh, a TV job and um, a receptionist job in my homeland. And it was an absolute kind of like a lottery what's going to happen right I completely put myself into the unknown and for about four months I went sending my resume and nobody really were hiring me and I had my ticket to go back and when the time started coming into that date I look at the ticket and part of me was like just go home and another part of me was like but I knocked into 500 doors one of them inevitably should open and I applied for my desired at that time, seven, no more. Oh my God. No, probably seven, seven years ago for my desired corporate job, which was complete jump from my hospitality job to work in a corporate. I applied for that position, I think five times before I got an interview. Um, in my personal life, there are many ups and downs and challenges in the relationship. And I never gave up on my partner or on our love. So everything I have today in my life, it's a process of me not giving up, a process of following the desire, following the sensation, following the knowing, right? And staying very committed, staying very sharp in my attention and awareness that this is what I want. And to illustrate why the easiest way to break a habit is to create a new habit, I will share another personal experience uh, where after the pandemic, about a year ago, I'm like, oh, it's kind of time for me to go back to the gym and maybe I should start eating more healthier because I kind of start getting a lot of, you know, chips and chocolates and, and all of carbs and sugar and all of that stuff, right? And it was kind of the back of my mind. And one day I can exercise, another day I can skip it. One day I can 
you know, eat pretty healthy. Another day I can allow myself to have something at 10, 11 p.m., right? And it's kind of like, yeah, that would be nice, but no, nah, it's fine. Until this year, I realized for myself that, no, I cannot postpone it anymore because I have this big reason, right? My why suddenly become so important and why it's all about entering a completely new chapter of my life where I actually, like, I need to have a good toned, strong body with high vitality. Once that why become very crystal clear, I start thinking about, okay, how I can set that process, right? If with exercising, it's easier, you can find, um, you can find group classes, right? And then you commit going to the group classes when it comes to food, how we create a healthy habits. And what is actually a healthy habit? Because there's so many variety, right? To go and find. And I've done a lot of research, right? And one of the research was that, and I experienced that myself, when we do three, five days cleanses, right? Or fasting, uh, all you can do within that time is thinking about when you're going to have that nice meal when it's over. So it's a band-aid. It's not going to help me to break a habit. And I found a perfect solution for myself that was 21 day, very reasonable. The first 10 day you eat only fruits and vegetables, raw or cooked, totally up to you in whatever variation you want. And then the next 11 days you are eating healthy proteins, healthy organic um, meat or uh, seafood and very light grains like quinoa, um, I don't know, plantain, beans and whatever. So, that 21 day period gave me an opportunity to start practicing actively a new habit. And when the 21 day is over, there's no desire for all this unhealthy, guilty pleasures. Literally, there's no desire for them, right? So the truth in the story is actually that any transformation you want to create in your life, it's not only a cognitive mind process, it's also what's happening in your body. And because of that, right, whatever it is that's happening in your body, it is important to pay attention and know that when you meditate, when you do sensual movement, or when you dance, or when you do the breath work, it's not just a practice. It's something that's constantly shifting into your body. Your body becomes more receptive. You clearing, right, your energy. You don't have this heavy weights. And our body is wired to thrive. So it is important to know and be aware of that it, our bodies, right, the habit actually lives in the body. So the more self-care, the more attention to the practice and the more consistency with the practice we have, right, our body will be your biggest um, cheerleader and your biggest supporter of like, I want to feel that. I want to feel light. I want to feel good. I want to feel more energy movement. I want to feel more pleasure. And it would be much easier than to continue sticking with the practice because there will be a craving and desire that lives here in the body and then your mind will just do the best to find the time to fulfill that so to sum up at the beginning of any of your transformational journey you need to become crystal clear on your why and then you just need to stick for a particular period of time a month or two to consistently doing the practice and then after that you're just gonna enjoy the ride if you want to learn more about embodiment practices, please reach out for consultation. I work with one-on-one -on -one clients. I work with couples. Um, and my credo is live your power.